Box of Fans, Chris Robinson here at the Mandalay Bay with Fernando Guerrero. Fernando, uh, got a little sh appearance here soon. I mean, what, what are your thoughts on getting back in the ring here? Well, just getting back in the ring is always good. Um, and I just want to show the people that um, there's no difference between me and those stars that they see on HBO. Thus, that's why I'm here, you know, and um, I'm going to broadcast my my talent. And I ran across you in, I think, February. You were training at Van Nuys, California. Yeah. Is that where you're still at these days? Yeah, I'm still here with uh, Ricky, um, okay. the St. Louis gym, and, um, you know, just doing my thing. How has camp been, like, if you could take me kind of behind the scenes, like, how's preparation been? Well, preparation, um, uh, it's been great, you know. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm with my father, and uh, he's, he's been doing my, my diet, my dietitian and, and everything, and, um, and training with the guys and working with a lot of um, the kids and getting to know LA, um, yeah. going to a lot of um, runs in the mountains and the trails, and I love that a lot. And uh, it's great. And you said getting to know LA. How much like have you been kind of like just soaking up that new atmosphere out there? Like, well, it's just the people, you know. It's just um, I'm trying to get get what I used to have um, and what what I have back home, you know, in the Eastern Shore. So I want I want that so the people know who I am in mm -hmm. that environment again with that electrifying crowd. Okay. And I think I could do it. And you had a, a setback against um, Grady Brewer. How yeah. much did that open your eyes to things? How much did you learn from that? Well, um, I wouldn't be here right now, you know, if um, if it wasn't for that. I wouldn't be with my father right now. I wouldn't I wouldn't grow up uh, into the person that I am now. Yeah. So now what I'm doing is just enjoying life. Enjoying, enjoy, enjoying life, man, and uh, it's not all just about um, just making it. It's about the whole trail of how to get there and, and what you've been through. And I think I've been through a lot. Could you tell me maybe where your upbringing was, like where you were born and raised, and how you got into boxing? Born and raised in Dominican, um, well, born in Dominican Republic, raised everywhere. I mean, we. I had to adapt so much, mm -hmm. um, and um, just coming to America was just a, a, a w real good experience for me. And um, dirt poor, you know, from from the slums of the Dominican Republic, and um, never been a kid that's never been in trouble. And uh, you know, like the history of boxing, that streets and, and drugs and all that stuff. Never done that. I mean, the least I could have done is just go to school and uh, and repay for um, we good for my parents. You know what they did for me. You know, mm -hmm. so that's it. Ten rounds, Fernando Guerrero and Jose Medina. <laughs> His opponent, an outstanding record, 23 victories, only one defeat, 18 KOs from Salisbury, Maryland. Fernando Guerrero, also 162 pounds, 162 for both fighters. Ricky! Tonight's big fight, you can follow along all day today and tomorrow to keep up on the latest. Again, that's hashtag Con Garcia.
Uh, uh, Box the face, Chris Robinson backstage. Fernando Guerrero, you want a dominant 10 round decision here tonight. And then Amir Khan, Danny Garcia undercard. How did it feel being in the ring, bro? Well, I felt good, you know. Um, I try to cherish every round of it. Okay. I mean, I need those rounds, you know. Um, I'm, so, I'm so used to just knocking the guys down or knocking them out. You know, that stuff that, you know, it's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get better. I need more rounds like this. Tough guy like Jose Medina, he took it, he got up. Um, um, all props for him. I'm glad that he didn't get hurt. And um, I just want to prove, you know, little by little, I'm going to prove that um, I belong with those guys. And you're coming off of an arm, you know, yeah. you surgery, I believe. Um, how, did mentally, is that a, like a hurdle you kind of had to get over? Was that in your head at all? Well, not just mentally, physically a little bit. Um, my arm's shaking right now, but um, okay. this is how I eat, you know. Um, so I got to get in the run. Um, I got to get in the ring and I got to fight, you know. Yeah. Or I don't get paid, so okay. this is this this is my job and this is how I eat. Yeah. And your new, you and your trainer, Ricky Pounas, what has it been like working with him? What have you been kind of like learning? You know? It's good, you know, I'm growing as a man um, and, and, and in life. Um, you know, just my last loss um, just made me so much smarter, so much of a man, so much of a human being that um, I just want to cherish every moment. And um, Ricky Foon is working with him right now. You know, as everything is good so far. He listens. And um, and we're doing it as a team, you know. Um, he's trying to um, get up there and get out um, under Goosen. And I'm trying to do my own name and, and um, stay um, go up higher than those guys that, um, that are higher than me. And what do you think about your future? Are you just going to take some time to ch kind of cherish the victory or anything lined up? I mean, what well, are you looking um, at I here? think my plane leaves at Monday, so oh, okay. on Tuesday I should be in the gym. All right, sounds good, man. Yeah. Good luck, Fernando. We'll be looking for